Wernicke's aphasia is fascinating. Aphasias, for those who aren't aware, are disorders of language typically caused by some kind of brain trauma, most often a stroke, but could also be due to an accident or a tumor or even sometimes an infection. Now, usually when we think about aphasias, most people think about language production aphasias, where the person struggles to form words, for example. But Wernicke's aphasia in its purest form is only an error of language comprehension which means the language comes out completely fluent with the proper intonation and rate. It just makes no sense because they're filled with what are called paraphrastic errors. This can include semantic paraphasia where one word is substituted for another. They can be related too, like maybe they say screwdriver instead of toolbox. And can also include phonemic paraphasia where we substitute one syllable for another. Maybe they say, mart instead of dart. The resulting sentences are total word salad and gibberish at times, and yet if you aren't paying close enough attention, they might sound like complete sentences. And since it is a language comprehension problem, the person who's speaking is typically unaware they even have Wernicke's aphasia. So they will just keep saying things thinking they're making sense, but the people around them won't understand, and they'll get more and more frustrated as they continue to try and communicate. And they also then have trouble understanding the people around them, making it even harder to interact with them effectively. And we don't have great treatments for it, but one of the protocols is to make sure that you are using short, smaller sentences as you communicate with the person until you are sure that they actually understand what you're trying to communicate. Also make sure to maintain eye contact and use nonverbal communication. And with those short sentences, make sure that there isn't distraction or other background noise when 